Welcome to the Jump Studio. What we're going to do today is talk about things you should do to kind of, if you want to play drums, just kind of figure out whether or not you have the motor skills or even just the patience to do so. First of all, what we're going to do is we want to just pat our foot. We all pat our feet to, to music all the time, so let's just do that real, you know, like, just like we're listening to a set of some music. One, two, three, play. And you just going to pat your foot. And at this point, we can just pat our foot with our heel down. We'll go through, you know, once we take lessons, we can figure out some other techniques. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Simple enough, right? You know, we've all done that one song. Next thing we're going to do, if you're right-handed, you're going to play eighth notes, which is basically what you're going to be doing is you're going to play the downbeat with the bass drum and then one in between. If you're right, if you're left-handed, do it with your, right, your left hand. Here we go. One, two, ready, play. One and two and three and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now let's put them both together. I'm going to slow it down a little bit. Okay. So let's let's start with the bass drum first. We're going to go one, two, ready, play. One, two, three. Four, one, two, and ready, and play. One, and two, and three, and four, and 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 very good, very good. Now, the thing is, what we want to do when I play drums, I try not to have to think about too many things at once, and that's where muscle memory comes in. So. While you're trying, while you're working this up, we kind of keep that in mind. You want to kind of play something enough that you don't have to think about it so much. So a lot of times I'll I'll get something going and I'll play it and I keep playing it until I until it feels comfortable and I can kind of like you know kind you know talk about other things if I want to. I can still keep it going. Now let's add the back. We're gonna do that with the with, with the hand that's left over. Okay. So if you're you're a lefty. And you can play it with your right hand. If you're right-handed, like me, you're going to play it with your left hand. So here we go. And that's on two and four. Back beat. We all, we Western music, it's all over the place. So we're going to go one, two, ready, play. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Very good. Now. Let's start to put these three elements together. Notice we haven't done anything with a hi hat because, well, right for now we, we're playing like we're grooving with a hi hat down, so we don't have to worry about that so much. But the other three, the other three limbs, we got to deal with. You know, so you move the right foot, right hand, left hand. So let's practice that back beat with the bass drum first. So one, two, ready, play. We're gonna go one, two, three. Go with the bass drum. One, two, three, four. Add the hi hat. I mean the snare. Two, three, four. On two and four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Very good. Now let's practice that back beat with the right hand, which we normally play on the hi hat. So let's get the hi hat going. One and two and ready and play. One and two. Three and four and one, two, ready, play. Two and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Very good. Now, stop the tape every now and then when you need to stop and practice on something because it's not going to come necessarily immediately. So don't get frustrated. Just kind of let yourself kind of groove and kind of play around a little bit so your muscle memory can help you out so you don't have to think about everything all at one time. Now, let's, let's bring and put all the three elements together. I like to start with the bass drum. Some people like to start with their, with their right hand. Um, so whichever way works for you, let's, you can do it that way. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and start with my bass drum for now. So we're going to go one, two, and ready, and play. One, two, three, four, one, 
kind of play around with this and see how it feels you can kind of tell whether or not you you, you, you have the desire and the dexterity to play drums. Okay? Good luck.